Folks, it's that time of year again. Ninja Fortnite has finally been added back into Fire Emblem Heroes. Hey folks, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. We've got another ninja banner coming up and well, the trailer's finally out. I really didn't expect them to do this for the second time in a row, but here we are. Maybe there'll be a unit that isn't as broken as Joel Wynn. We'll see, I'm not too sure. But if you like this sort of stuff, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with everything I post. All right, let's get into it. You know, besides the whole teaser that they posted on Twitter like the day before, I really don't know what to expect here besides maybe a single Corrin. I really don't know. Wait, no, the leak isn't real. Cause I heard there were leaks. How long has it been since I've used anything other than a bow? That was one of the leaked units, I grin. Oh, she's got C dual flying four? Yeah, okay. Huh. I know somebody who's going to hate this I've because they have no orbs and they love Igren. Oh my god, it actually is it because I know she and there too. Wow. Okay, so then the leak is apparently real. What? No way. Well, okay then. Well, she and I got an ult. Let's try to enjoy About this. time. Did I again? Makes sense. Yeah, there's the corn. That one was obvious. Into a crowd. One of my siblings shouts a greeting at me. Wow. So he finally decided to do the Lance infantry thing, except it's well in the four star yeah. focus. I guess it works You're out. Wide open. I mean, it's corn, so I guess people will pull either way. Well, that's something. So is this going to be? They finally did Ninja Elise. Holy <laughs> shit. Okay. Wow. Thank you. I didn't expect like it. it. But it makes coolest. sense. Wait. This is supposed to be... Is this not supposed to be a harmonic? Maybe it's like... No, that wouldn't even make any sense. Face isn't even split up. What the hell was that? Okay, so it actually is an actual duo. Okay, maybe I'm just dumb then. You know what? Whatever. Wait, no. That actually does mean that they've done two duos in a row? Huh? I really am confused, honestly. I... Okay. I'm not gonna ask. Meanwhile... I'm gonna check... Uh, actually, unless they show it here. I wonder who the free unit is, and if it is who I think it could be. Wow. They actually had the balls to make Shamir a Grail unit. Wow. I can't say I expected that, but you know what? I guess they went ahead and did it. <laughs> I, I, I'm blown away. I literally said earlier in a discussion thing on a Discord I'm in that there's no way in hell that Shamir is going to be the Grail unit because three houses sells. Everybody knows it at this point. But there's not even a single three houses unit on this banner, so uh well, okay then. Then by extension, I guess the uh the other leak might be real too then. Well. I, I I severely doubted that the leaks were real, and I guess I was proven wrong, so it happens then. Alright. Fine. I see how it is. Alright, let's talk about I grin then. So you've got yourself uh another colorless dagger flyer. Uh second year in a row for ninjas and all that although it looks like she has some other weird stuff yeah because she has her own perf but it's nothing as crazy as dueling i think right okay so the bada kunai grant speed plus four inflicts defense management right yeah so player phase brave yep you can move to a space uh within two spaces of an ally within two spaces okay so it's basically the uh the halloween noe effect or young tana whichever one you want to call it so yeah, you basically just got movement. That's basically all you need here, along with Brave. Because I'd assume that these are all going to be Brave units, or at least Brave weapons again. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, by the fact that you've got maybe some other effect tagged in there. So getting movement like this, honestly, not too shabby. And along with the fact that you've also got Sea Duel Flying 4, as well as Speed Defense Ryan 3. I mean, the latter of which I'm pretty sure was on Ninja Lin as well, so it's like... Okay, sure. And then, in, I mean, Luna's there, too. You might want to go with, like, Moombo or Glimmer. 
I guess depends. Shows her stats though, right? Yeah, it does. So then she's going to be at, if I recall correctly, 45, 52 minus 9. That's, I think, 41, unless I'm dumb. Uh, 40, 38 speed. Uh, wow, I actually can't math. Give four, but then take two away. So just plus two, and so then 22, 30. I think, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, I really don't know, but it's something along those lines, I'd imagine. I mean, it's really all you kind of just need. She's really just using your attack and speed, ultimately. With maybe a little bit of defenses, but it's like, whatever. That's just how these sort of units go. Because, I mean, well, brave weapons, you obviously want to do something in the player phase, unless it's otherwise specified, and with her being a two-range and highly mobile, you kind of know what you're getting into there, so... I mean, there you go. All she really needs, though, to be honest, is just like... Literally just a B skill. They've got, I mean, a couple options, luckily. I wouldn't say you'd want Kanto on her. Just because you're probably going to try to utilize her uh, her movement in her perf. More than not, so you won't even have the chance to use Far Trace. Unless you, like, barely move, but it's like... Eh, I don't know. I mean, you've got basic options like Desperation if you get knocked down low enough. And then, I guess, other flyer skills. I don't think you can get access to Dive Bomb, because that's... Well, because she's a range unit, I'm pretty sure that's only melee. I don't know, people will figure things out anyway. You kind of know what to expect here, because... I mean, by the similar logic that I would think of, anything you would use on Duo Lin probably works on Igrin well. Except for the fact that you don't have a, a Gale Force Duo skill. Simple as that, honestly. That's how I would at least uh, describe it here. But, yeah, I guess... Uh, all in all, apparently all three Nevada units got alts within about a month span of each other. Wow, <laughs> that's a weird thing to uh, at least, uh, I guess, take note of. Sure, why not? All right, now you've got... There he is, Shinon. Well, some people are going to be upset with this one. Uh, this time he's a red bow, though, but he's still infantry, so there you go. So, Ninja Yumi, uh, unit attacks twice, also... Uh, wow, okay. So, if unit speed is higher than the foe speed, which probably will happen, he deals 50% of difference between unit stats. Wait, uh, maximum damage is 4? Uh, so it can equal up to 8 by getting attack in. So it's basically, I guess, I don't even... Basically, those other, like, speed uh, true damage weapons. I don't think it's, like, actual true damage. But... You get the sort of similar values as to uh, what those were. Because I'm trying to think of what units I was like. Probably like um, Fire Nina, for example, if I remember correctly. Basically had this before, I think before the refine. So I'm not surprised that they upped the numbers just because uh, getting a maximum bonus of like seven, it's like whatever. I mean, this is only really going up by one in total. But I guess it's something, I guess. And I mean, yeah, sure. 50% of difference between the stats. I mean, that's really how you're getting that up anyway. So I guess it kind of just makes sense. Otherwise, I mean, you've got Dead Eye. Makes sense because it's Sheen on. Attack of Speed Solo 4 instead of Attack Defense. Again, just you're just trying to get as much speed out as total. And uh, Low Speed Defense 3. It, it's just what you would expect here. I guess what really does suck, though, is that um, meets Red Bow. Compared to being pillows before, which honestly is probably better. So he's neutral and everything, but I still see that sort of stuff working out. And even if you really don't want to run it on Shinon, you can like just grab his bow and give it to like anybody else uh, who might want it. For example, anybody who's speedy and just, you know, either doesn't have a perf or doesn't have a good perf. So, and I mean, technically you can get rid of Ninja Yumi and Deadeye in the same inheritance. Actually, in total, you can get rid of um, Shinon for Ninja, Yumi, Deadeye, and Attack Speed Solo 4 all in the same uh, fodder if you have everything uh, prerequisite, which is possible. It's just, you know, you just have to at least have it, or at least. Because I'm trying to think, what is it? It's like Glimmer or Astra that you need, and then, you know, Attack Speed Solo 3, which, I mean, if you didn't get any Augmas, it's whatever. Maybe you have some other weird uh, unit you can maybe get rid of to get all of it, so... You got all you need there. It's just, you know, he's not a four star focus on like Corrin, for example. So it's like, whatever. But it's not a terrible option, I would imagine.
Speaking of Corrin, Lance Infantry, you're basically one-upping Navarre at this point. Probably in BST, and yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, same sort of deal, except he's not actually getting speed. Did uh, did she not get speed himself? Oh, he actually didn't get speed. Huh, interesting. I guess it's just because he didn't really want to stack all these weird true damage stuff based on speed, so it makes sense that they're not actually stacking it. But you're still taking the uh, defensive res, but I guess... You gotta get rid of something if you're not getting rid of the speed at that point, I would imagine. So I guess that makes sense. But yeah, uh, same sort of deal, actually, as... Um, as she not just, you know, it's a lance instead. So you've got options. If you really want Ninja Yari for the extra speed, there you go. If you want the uh, extra true damage... You can go with this instead. Just no speed buff with that. But I guess the uh, <laughs> the other inheritance that he has, especially at four star, is interesting because you've got special spiral. I didn't realize this at first. At least it didn't click in my head immediately. But that's actually really cool to have for uh, a four star focus because not everybody wants special spiral, but it's not like it's bad. I mean, a lot of AOE spammers are gonna want it ideally. I mean, there's always going to be a couple. I mean, if you've got, like, an Ophelia lying around and you still haven't gotten yourself a special spiral, now is a possible chance for that. You've also got Swiss Sparrow 2 again, if you really want that. That's probably going to be the 4-star skill, to be honest, though. Since I don't even remember if Luthier has that 4-star or not. I forget which one of his skills out of Swiss Sparrow and Guard is the 4-star. I just don't remember. Then Draconic, or I guess it, it works, I guess. It probably just means that he has, like, a decent attack stat, but I'm not too sure. And I don't think there's any other, um, indicator of his stats either. I have to admit, though, where is it? I kind of like the effects that he has going in his, uh, in his special here for, like, the, you know, I guess you would describe it as wind. I don't know, sure. Stylistically, it looks cool is what I'm trying to say. So, you know what? Sure. But, I mean, if you got some orbs, might want to take a look at it. I don't know. Oh, it does have stats, actually. Okay, so... Because that's the whole... It's just Nine Might, right? Nine Might, you're losing a little bit. So you've got... 40... 38... 41 still the same. 35... 28... Something along those lines, yeah. Let's go with that. Actually, I'm just going to make sure... Just one quick second. Yeah, no, he doesn't have any stats shown. Why did they show corns? Probably for... Uh, special spiral then? Seems really odd to keep it going just to show that. Okay then, sure, why not? Alright. Female Corrin. I really doubted the, uh, the whole, uh, leak based on the fact that you had a duo or whatever, at least a pair with female Corrin as a lead. It's really weird. But, I guess it's weirder that they actually decide to do two duos in a row. I'm not, like, attesting to that or whatever, but it's really weird breaking the streak now. Unless they have some weird plans going forward. That's my sort of guess, but I don't know. But, oh well. Either way, I guess this is the best way that Lise is going to uh, get in. Because I guess they don't want to try to bet on her selling. Even though she had a really popular uh, ninja art made for her for Cypher. If you want to call it that, yeah. Oh well. Other way, Corrin, she is a green tome cavalier. Okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Last time you had the whole uh, colorless dagger flyer. Now you've got, by extension, yeah, you've got yourself a, uh, well, a green tome cavalier, but with brave. So, basically what uh, World of Thracia all one could have been if you actually had brave but didn't. So there you go, Green Heart, Reinhardt. Let's go with that then. Except you can quad. All right, so it grants well the Nemoral uh, speed and then inflicts the defense and rest. Sure. That. Okay. So <laughs> they really went out with the whole true damage thing with this one. So if you initiate combat, you'll attack twice. But also, if your speed is higher than the foes, you're dealing damage based on 70% of the difference between stats. Not 50 this time. And certainly not 40. But 70? Maximum bonus of 7 damage. So, if this is really the whole true damage factor and sort of thing, which 
I'm just throwing that out there, like the whole true damage wording. You get what I mean? Whether or not it is, doesn't matter, okay? You're basically getting 14 true damage release. If you're maxing it out properly, then it's like you're getting 14 free damage, which it's like, wow. <laughs> That's actually kind of kind of crazy, I have to admit. But, I mean, normally you can only really get that sort of numberage out if you were actually in, like, desperation range to get all that out first. And then you have the kill. I just get it for free, where you can just attack twice, get that extra damage in. And if you somehow don't kill, and you survive the first counterattack, it's like, well, you can go ahead and go again with 14 more uh, bonus damage. So it's like, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> Fine, I see how it is. Rally of Defense Plus is now getting added into the game. How did I not realize that this wasn't a thing? Okay, sure. I mean, that's something if you really want to uh, take note of that. Otherwise, you've got Attack Speed Push 4. Sure. Speed and Res Far Trace 3. Makes sense. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're probably going to maybe sometimes use your 3 movement, but if you don't, Kanto's there. Just in general, just something that's nice to have. I. Don't know if this is their best B skill. It might be though, just because I mean, you know, Cavalier three movement, that sort of thing. Sure. And then joint drive attack. Just works out fine, honestly. Kind of just does what it needs to do. I'm just assuming that because of their stats, they won't have to worry too much about speed. Okay, they kind of do. I mean, you've got attack and speed push, and then I mean the the speed and reds far trace. Although I feel like in a way it would make more sense to maybe have had joint drive speed. I don't know. It's either you're going for more damage or you're really assuring the def the the difference in the stats is what I'm trying to say. So I guess it is kind of possible. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking into this a little bit too much. Uh, but the stats just to make sure. So it's 38, uh, 41, or is it a different value? You know it is 41. Okay. 41, 40... Uh, 23, 20, I think. Sure, let's just go with that. And then what was the duo skill since I skipped over that? <laughs> really? Grants you another action. Oh my god. So they really just copy and pasted the, um, the duo skill from duo win. And it's just like, hey, have it on a Cavalier now. Wow, that is going to be... <laughs> The thing because Cavaliers can never really get a gale for. Oh wait, no, they can. Well, not range calves is what I mean. You're not gonna see this on like another unit because I mean, well, if Reinhardt had it, that'd be stupid. But now you've actually got it to an extent. Oh boy, this is. It, it, I guess it's a good thing that this unit is basically a glass cannon because, well, if you're not prepared, you're gonna die to this unit 100%. And I mean, if this is in player hands, you're probably going to kill a good amount of stuff, to be honest. I think the only problem, I guess, comparing Corrin to Lin is more so just down to the fact of um, just how much easier you could kind of... You have a lot more leeway with Ninja Lin in terms of being able to set up and use other utility. Since early on when she started becoming meta, a lot of people would use her also as your disarm trap as well. Since, I mean, it's a dagger unit, you don't have that sort of luxury here with Corn. And, I mean, a lot of people would do the Lin Force sort of thing, which isn't a thing now because, hey, save skills exist, but I guess Corn here still has that same problem. And yeah, you have three movement, but you also can't go over trenches and... Yeah, yeah, you, you get what I mean. It's the whole sort of difference in classes and whatnot. So it's like, sure, whatever. And I mean, it's the same sort of skills that you would want to run on these other units, except you can basically build this Corrin like a Reinhardt and get easy success at this point, is what I would imagine. So, sure, let's just go with that then. So then, here's what I'm wondering, though. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't I did, wasn't paying attention to Shamir's classing. So, she's an axe. So then, I'm assuming that this is going to be what, um, what Korin has. The, not Masakari, or, because it was Ninja Masakari, whatever it was. 
Um, it's going to be that effect, but as an axe. So then you've got um, whatever. I, don't, I guess it is Ninja Master. Right? Maybe I'm just completely mixing things up, but you get know what I mean. Uh, you've got this one, which will do a little bit of the true damage, just no speed, I would imagine. Otherwise, I'm curious about her stats and skills because this this video is not going to have that right now. So you're going to have to wait until later to see that. Um, but I'm curious because, I mean, <laughs> it's Shamir. I'm pretty sure a lot of people wouldn't mind grailing for her, especially since, well, three houses grail unit. And it's an alt for fairly popular and sellable character in all regards. So this is definitely a pleasant surprise, especially around... Um, Especially around basically book six about to come out soon. So, sure, there you go. Although, I guess ultimately it's just like a, uh, just, you know, a ninja banner. You know what you're going to get out of this. And if you don't really care for it, it's fine. Don't worry about it then. Otherwise, I mean, just have fun with Shamir and just wait until book six then, is what I would imagine. And then, by extension, you've still got, well, since this was leaked and technically. The next banner was leaked and I'm not going to talk about exactly what that is in case you don't want to get spoiled But if this is true, that might be true as well So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting if you want to look for those leaks Uh, you're gonna have to look for that yourself I really don't want to spoil anybody just in case and I don't want to really hold myself to Saying like oh, it's true now because this one is true. It's like no, I I'll leave the surprise up if anything and if they turn out to be true well, damn, sure, they were true. At least I didn't have to swallow you here, but you know what? It's just what happens. But what you can know is that you're free to comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this banner overall, if you're going to be pulling. Uh, let me know what you think about these sort of videos and what I can do to uh, make them better. And uh, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, of course, if you want to stay up to date with more of this content. So, uh, yeah, my name is Val, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe? We'll see. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.